What is up everybody? Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday when you see this or had an awesome Friday if you watch this later on. But we are back in the 2019 Ram 1500. I am absolutely loving this truck. This truck is awesome. Now that I've got, you know, everything pretty much blacked out besides the bumpers and the grill, which I'll be working on that shortly. But other than that, I really love this truck. It's awesome. It's my favorite daily driver as far as a truck is concerned. But one thing that bugs me that I just saw the other day is there's a small, small dent right under the badge on the tailgate, which I'll show you guys once we get there. Um, I had changed out the badge from a chrome one to a black one from the Mopar catalog. They have the OEM uh, matte black badges, which is really cool. So I put one of those on and when I pulled the original one off, I'm guessing I pressed a little too hard down on the clip puller tool because it has a little edge on the bottom and I'm guessing that little edge kind of went into the tailgate. I know these tailgates are, I wanna say they're aluminum now because I know they're a lot lighter than the original tailgates, but I don't know if that's why it did it, but I don't remember pressing down that hard and honestly, I don't remember when I changed the badge that it actually did that. I kind of just noticed it the other day. So luckily, I have a really good friend Michael Hildrago who uses or who uses who owns Heavenly Hail Repair and I've done some video work for them before and uh, I hit him up told him I had a dent on the tailgate so he said to bring it over so we're gonna get that fixed up today so I kind of want to take you guys over there show you the dent and show you how he's going to attack it now I do have the truck ceramic coated so he's not able to use any of his tools that stick to the paint on the outside because he told me with the ceramic coating his tools would not actually stick well enough to pull the dent out so I believe and he'll correct me when we get there but I believe he's going to pull the little inside panel of the tailgate off and he's gonna attack it from the inside with one of his little tools so we're gonna head over there heavenly hail repair and uh, Michael's gonna kind of walk us through the steps he's taking to fix this and we'll see if we can get this dent out I hope we can because other than that, the truck is flawless. It's just that small dent. I saw it the other day walking behind it. You, you guys know when you wash your vehicles and they're clean and you walk around them, you just start noticing things. And uh, the paint is like perfect right now. And then I saw that dent and I was like, oh man, I love this truck. It's so perfect. I have to have that fixed. Just that little dent drives me nuts. And you know what's funny is usually my friends pick out stuff like that and no one no one that I know has seen it or picked it out. And it could be because my truck's been dirty. Um, the tailgate's a little dirty right now, so hopefully you guys can see it because I don't really want to wipe it down without actually rinsing off the truck. So hopefully with one of his lights, we can see the dent and then uh, he can hopefully walk us through the steps on how he's going to attack it. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys over at Heavenly Hail Repair. Oh, All right, so where is that sucker? So we're here. And oh yeah, she's wet. Can't even see that shit on camera. <laughs> I'm thinking that brace is literally um, right, right on top of it. that dent. So um, let's let's take a look. Let's see. I don't know if you can even see this thing. Oh, you'll be able to see it in this light, <laughs> or maybe like boom. Oh, there it is. It's right too there. sharp, little guys. Yeah, it's almost like it creased. I swear when it's clean, it looks so much worse. <laughs> yeah, dude, black is super picky. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a guy here, too. Yeah, that's why I just saw that. What? <laughs> Where? You can't hide from these lines, dude. Look. <laughs> Boom. And get on this side of the light. What you got going on here? Well, right now I'm trying to see if I can even get a Reach tool it. on there. Um, He's got this long ass bar. And I don't think that I can, dude. I think I'm hitting this, I'm underneath here. Um, this brace is gonna, this brace is gonna keep me from getting there. There's a brace that's, um, right above runs it. all the way across and um, there's also a hole down in this brace too. Yeah. So, um, see, I'm on the dent. 
but I can't even I can't even apply pressure because I'm I'm uh, I'm spinning in there. Yeah, dude, I'm spinning. Maybe from the other side I'll get it. Got this back panel off right now, but there you can see the brace. That's what's kind of blocking us. But there's a couple holes he's trying to access through. Have you yeah. not done one of the new rams yet? No, not no, not a tailgate, a, yeah. I guess. Not a tailgate, man. Um, not a tailgate yet. So, boom, we're in. Get on the other side of this wire. Boom. We're in. Not on there, dude. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. But I'm on the dent. I'm on the first one here. Oh yeah, I see that. Um, I can see it from right here now. And it's just, it's so scary in there. Like that, dude. Like slipping. Mm -hmm. um, if I slip, um, I don't have enough pressure in there. Um, I don't have enough leverage in there and if I slip and my tool gets caught um, the worst case scenario I leave a nasty high and it cracks the paint kind of thing you know what I mean yeah, so you yeah. never want your tool to slip and working with one hand up here is even making it even scarier so you need to have really good leverage and really good hold of the tool eh yeah you can't be can't be old lipperous in it so it's not just pushing it out. Maybe I think people just think you just push on it. And it comes oh no, out. no, no! <laughs> you gotta caress this, man. Yeah, you gotta. It's a little bit of finesse. You gotta, you gotta finagle it. Yeah, it's a. Look at me. I'm 140 pounds, dude. It's not just brute force. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no way. A little bit of finesse. A little bit of wiggle. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta spit on it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta spit on it and jam it in. But yeah, this thing is, uh, I'm on it, dude. It's just so spooky in there. Oh, did you bring that heat lamp, bro? No? It's in a weird spot anyways. It's like the G spot, bro. It's so hard to get back on there. <laughs> So I bring my truck over and these guys just start ripping it apart. Here we go, already. Good thing they know what they're doing. Eh, barely. <laughs> this is my first time. <laughs> so he thinks he's going to try and use this little access hole at the bottom where the plug is right there. This down. Maybe, uh, so the good thing about these lights and this guy's eyeballs is that he finds everything. <laughs> so I found a couple small other ones that he's gonna knock out real quick. They're so small you can't even see them on the camera really. <laughs> Did you already take it out? Uh, one of them. And I'm gonna use that other tool's bigger brother maybe to get in here. So yeah, there's two small, little real small dents. You can't even see it on the camera, but you can see them with just the right light. And so he's just gonna knock those two out real quick. Now let's see if you can see. There's that one. You know, so you I see it's got a little crease. What I just, just realized realize? I didn't put deodorant on this morning. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> All right, guys, so Michael just took care of the ram. Make sure if you're in Amarillo or near it, you hit him up. Give him the information. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, come by uh, 6661 Canyon Drive here in Amarillo, Texas.
you can't miss our shop front, Heavenly Hell Repair. Um, or you can give us a call, boom, 806-680-7790. Text us pictures of your dance and we'll tell you if we can do it or not. Michael is the only person I trust with any of my vehicles. Even if I lived out of state, I would come here because he does awesome work. Oh, he, you're too sweet. I can't believe you got that out, actually. I thought it'd be easy, and then he showed me uh, kind of how you have to access it through with all those barriers in there. So we had to take the tailgate off, but no big deal for Michael. He made it look easy. Cake work. It's nice and smooth now. Oh, dude, that looks beautiful. Bam. Oh, yeah. Stop dating your truck. <laughs> All right guys, so Michael just took care of the ram. He actually found where someone had fixed a ding on the other side um, and they looked like they had pushed it out too far so he kind of just pushed it back in that way it looked more even. Um, but that's the thing, with even though it's a brand new vehicle, I bought this brand new from a dealership, it doesn't mean they don't get door dings by sitting in there and they don't get dents by going through shipping. So they actually work with a lot of dealerships around here because that happens more often than you think. Um, so huge shout out to Michael, Heavenly Hail Repair, and Lance over there for taking care of the ram. It looks so much better, and uh, that dent was actually a lot worse than I thought. You know, when he puts his little special lights on it, it makes it look a lot worse than what I had seen when I was washing it the other day. Obviously, it didn't look as bad when it was dirty, but definitely when it was clean, you could see the light reflect off of it. And then when he puts his light on it, it looks totally different, and you can really see, and it almost like had a crease in it. So I tried to film as much as I could where you guys could see the dent, but he got it, it looks flawless. And uh, there was even some spots where I was like, man, it looks good enough. He could just leave it there. But then you would look at it from another angle and you could see like another little pit or something. So he really worked around it. And then he kind of had to tap around it to make sure it's perfectly evenly smooth all the way around. But he got it looking amazing. If you're anywhere near Amarillo, or if you even need to drive for someone that's good at PDR because a lot of people do it, but the people that are really good at it are very far and very hard to find. So make sure you hit up Michael, Heavenly Hail Repair. He gave you guys the phone number. You can look him up on Facebook, Instagram. You can just Google him, um, but they will give you a quote if you wanna send them pictures or bring your car by. They can give you some prices, but they are amazing at what they do. And a huge shout out to him for taking care of me really happy that it's done with because that was really starting to bother me it's never cool driving around with dents in your vehicle it just doesn't look good go lady oh my gosh she's literally just sitting there i'm trying to let her go what are you doing some people don't know how to drive see she's driving around with her damn bumper ripped off embarrassing so if you have dents don't drive around with a dented vehicle it's embarrassing so uh, I think I got one small one actually I want to fix on the Mustang. So we're going to bring that over next week and we'll show you guys maybe how he fixes that one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have some dents in your vehicle, make sure you hit them up. But as always, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanV39. And we'll see you guys on the next one.